Hey guys, today I'm sharing some game-changing new makeup products that you need to try. I actually have a skincare product in this video too, and every single product I am using or putting on my face in this video is available at Ulta Beauty. There are three days left in the 21 Days of Beauty event that happens every single year, and one of the products that will be half off tomorrow, I will be applying and showing you later as well because I'm really, really excited about it. I know a lot of you are like me. You shop at Ulta all the time because you can get both high-end and drugstore products there and products of every kind. And I'm super excited because this video is my first time partnering with Ulta and I get to share with you all of these products that I have come across and am super, super excited about. If you're a diamond or a platinum member, you can get free shipping from now through September 19th when the 21 Days of Beauty event ends. Just wanted to give you a quick reminder on that. Now we can go ahead and get into these new makeup and beauty must-haves that I definitely think you need to try. First off, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. I would love it if you would consider subscribing before the end of this video. All right, so the first product I'm gonna talk about is a foundation that a lot of you have been asking me to try. It's the new It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. Your skin's supposed to improve within two weeks if you use this daily. And I do find that this lives up to the claims in terms of medium, buildable, natural looking coverage, and it does minimize the look of pores. I love the way it applies evenly and quickly. Oh, I am in the shade, what shade am I? Medium Warm 32, I think it's a great match. And I do think that this is a foundation that's great for all skin types. Because it's infused with hyaluronic acid, aloe vera extract, vitamins E and B5, it's supposed to give you all day hydration and just give you a naturally radiant finish. But as someone with oily combination skin, I always worry that foundations like that will make me look greasy. It doesn't. It does look very flattering on my skin. And I think this would look super flattering on skin that is normal or dry as well. Now I have a tough skin type and I live in a tough climate with my skin type. I have oily combination skin. So I get shiny in my T-zone and the perimeter of my face is, you know, pretty normal, but I live in a really hot and humid climate. I live in New Orleans. So I am pretty tough on foundations when I test them out. This isn't the longest wearing foundation that I wear. If I blow my nose, for example, I do get transfer onto a tissue, but I get more wear out of it if I wear it with a good primer, which I usually do, and if I use a setting spray. So just know that if you're wanting to get more wear out of this, you may want to try those things. But in my opinion, I think it can be worth it for those of you who have more mature skin and want something that feels a little lighter than than say the It's CC cream and gives you a nice coverage but still gives you those skin benefits that It Cosmetics is known for. This to me is a great option for those of you who you know aren't in your 20s anymore and are wanting just a nice flattering foundation that looks really nice on the pores. It's great across all skin types and it gives nice natural medium buildable coverage. I've really been enjoying this. This next product is from a new and exclusive skincare line to Ulta that I was immediately intrigued by. The brand is Beekman 1802 and the product that I got to try are the probiotic ceramide serum milk drops. Ceramides are lipids that help with the skin's barrier function and they help the skin retain moisture and they also help with environmental pollutants and things like that. I like finding products with ceramides because without using ceramides in your skincare routine, your skin's barrier function can become compromised over time and your skin can just become kind of dry and itchy and irritated and you don't even really know why. So they're just a good product to incorporate into your skincare routine if you can find products that do it effectively. So the whole premise behind Beekman in general is just to bring balance back to the skin. They use goat milk because it has the same pH as skin and it also includes natural lactic acid, but it's also just really, really good for all skin types, including really, really sensitive skin. So I read that, I was really intrigued, and I picked up this serum to try because of the ceramides, and it's also got squalane, hyaluronic acid, and plant enzymes that invigorate dull skin and are supposed to just give you kind of this radiance, but in a lightweight way. It's also supposed to help control oily skin, clear the pores, and balance discoloration, which I thought was really great. And I've been enjoying this. I've been using this for several weeks, and I noticed from the very first time I used it that my skin felt like it had more locked-in hydration just the second it sunk into my skin, which impressed me 
just immediately. My serums are always the first thing I put on my face from thinnest to thickest. I do apply this one last just because I feel like I kind of lock in all the other serums with it. And then I apply my moisturizer on top of it. I've been using it morning and night. It doesn't make me greasier during the day. My skin just feels really, really good. I take it right up underneath my eyes. I've been taking it down my neck. I do feel like it does give me a nice radiance, locked in moisture, and my skin just feels really nice. I cannot wait to try more products from this line. I feel like no matter what skin type you have, you could really enjoy products from this line because of how the hydration is. It's non-greasy, it's lightweight, but it's effective, at least from what I can tell from this product. You guys know I love a good concealer, and so when you were asking me to try the new Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser, I was all over it. Now I do need a more brightening shade for under my eyes. I'll go ahead and say that. This shade CN40 is really great for my face, but it's a little bit too close to my straight face shade for underneath my eyes. I like to go about a half a shade up. I will be going back to get a lighter shade because I have been loving this concealer so much. Now I usually apply a corrector underneath my eyes to counteract the disc coloration before I apply a concealer. I can apply less layers underneath my eyes. The concealer just performs better. So keep that in mind. They claim that this is a full coverage concealer. I feel like it's more medium to full for me anyway. And of course it's going to depend on how dark your circles are. I do feel like this gives great coverage. It's really flattering underneath the eyes all day. I don't feel like my dryness or crinkles are accentuated throughout the day. Now, as far as saying, you know, it's totally creaseless, I can't attest to that because I just have the anatomy where my under eye area right under here it creases no matter what concealer I use. So I have to set. But if you're someone who's borderline, I feel like this is a formula where you might not have to set it. I haven't seen anybody blend this out with the little sponge tip on the end and I feel like it works really well. I've blended it out with that. I've blended it out with a regular sponge. It's really pretty. It lasts well throughout the day. It does say it's supposed to improve moisture immediately by 55% and after 24 hours by 49%. Now I don't usually wear concealer for 24 hours, but you know, if you do, hey, you have that too. It says it's supposed to reduce the appearance of fine lines by 25%. I mean, I'm all for that. It is fortified with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and it helps hydrate and plump fine dry lines and the caffeine helps energize. It's also supposed to kind of depuff the area over time if you have puffy under eyes. So to me, this is a great mature under eye concealer. Or for anyone who has fine lines or texture, it's also great on the face. It kind of covers in a blurring way. And if you're not subscribed to my blog, I keep an updated concealer match list as well as foundation shade match list that I update regularly. So if you think you're around me, light, medium, warm, neutral-ish, I will be updating within the next couple weeks what my actual shade is of this. So just be sure you're subscribed if you're not so that you know what my under eye shade is in this concealer because I will be getting it. Okay, before I get into the other game-changing makeup products, I do want to let you know that tomorrow the 18th, the Benefit boxes of powders are 50% off. So they will be 50 $15 online only. I have Rockateur on as my blush today. I have Hula on as my bronzer and I have Cookie on as my highlighter. I adore these and I actually think that Rockateur is such an underrated blush shade. It's such a great neutral and I think a lot of the reason why is because it's got this overspray on the top that makes it look like it's really really shimmery and it might be kind of unwearable. It does have kind of a sheen to it but it's really flattering and it goes with so many looks. I mean it doesn't look like it would go with this red lip and this kind of you know neutral eye but it really does. Hula is a great neutral bronzer that you can actually wear as contour if you want to. And Cookie is one of my favorite, favorite highlights of all time. There are some other great shades. I really like California as well. It's really great for spring and summer in my opinion. So I just wanted to let you know <laughs> that you may want to hit up the 21 Days of Beauty tomorrow and get these online only because they will be 50% off. In a recent video, I talked about both the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara as well as the Extreme Effects 
palette I have both on today and I wanted to give you an update on this mascara because in that video I had said it was kind of clumpy and it started to kind of straighten out my lashes but I have really been enjoying it since then I'm just sure to scrape off the wand really well first and it gives me this really really voluminous long lash look. If you're someone like me that has really wimpy lashes, this is a great mascara. I've actually been surprised at how much I like it. I've just learned to scrape off the wand first and I do comb through my lashes while they're still a little bit damp, but I do that anyway. It's just how my lashes are. I use a wire lash comb. I'll have all of the products that I used on my face linked and listed in the description box down below for you. As I always do, they are all available from Ulta. And as for the Extreme Effects palette, I feel like this is getting so overshadowed by other palettes that are coming out. I mean, it is just palette palooza right now with so many palettes coming out. And this is a great fall palette. I've really been enjoying it. It's what I have on my eyes right now. This was such an easy look to get and it's just such a pretty neutral fall or kind of any time look. I use this shade in my transition and along my lower lash line and then I use this really really pretty brown shade here and it has shimmer in it. I don't usually take these in the crease but I just used a less dense brush and put this both in my outer V and lightly in the crease and then I took a more dense brush and put it in the outer third and then I took this shade right here and I put this in the center of my lid and I put this shade in the inner corner. I used brown liner and that's really all I did to get this eye look. Super, super easy. I'll link you to the other video I did where I got a different look with this palette. I just feel like you can get, you know, those kind of fiery looks. You can get plum or purple looks. You can get deeper looks, neutral looks. I really like this for a fall palette. The quality is here and it's just something that you should definitely consider if you like these kinds of tones. I've been on the hunt lately for longer wearing lip colors that will last on my lips but not completely dry them out. So what I have on my lips today is one of these new MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Colors. The shade I have on is MAC Smash. It's this pretty true red and it's been on for a little while. And I've been sitting here drinking my coffee and drinking some water and you can see even though it's come off on the mug, it's still on my lips. So they say this has a special blend of powders and emollient properties that provide excellent cushion, flexibility, wear, and moisture that will leave lips looking and feeling soft and smooth all day. Now it says they're long wearing for eight hours, but they're supposed to give immediate and long-term moisture for about 10 hours. And they're supposed to smooth out the lips, kind of smooth the lip lines, and give this kind of powdery, blurred look to the lips, this kind of soft, focused look to the lips. And I would agree with that. I feel like they do kind of give this kind of blurred, blotted look as opposed to just this, you know, stark, opaque, apparent look, which I kind of like with a red specifically. The other shade I have is called Mullet Over. It's kind of a warm, neutral shade. It's got these kind of um, corally, orangey fall undertones. If you like that kind of shade, you'll really like this. But they do feel kind of airy and light. And I find as they start to wear away, they leave kind of this stain on the lips. And I have gotten some long wear out of them. I don't feel like my lips stay, you know, super hydrated but they don't dry out either to where I feel like I have nothing on my lips. I've really been enjoying these. Now, if you're someone who doesn't like a liquid lip at all, if you don't like the wand application, if it's just too much trouble, I did want to show you this lipstick from Becca. It's called Ultimate Lipstick Love. These aren't super new, but I really like the formula and this shade is really, really pretty. These are creamy and long wearing for a bullet lipstick. I mean, you're only going to go so far with a bullet lipstick, but if you are someone who really does just go for the bullet lipstick. This is a great formula to go with. I've actually talked about this before on my channel. This is the shade Dusk. It's just really pretty neutral. It feels great on the lips and I don't think these get talked about enough. So I wanted to just throw this in as a little bonus. The packaging also feels so nice and luxurious too and it has that great magnetic closure that we all love so much. Have you found any great game-changing new makeup products or old makeup products that you've been loving? If so, I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Oftentimes the products I end up loving are the products you guys told me about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.